guys, I have a huge Dollar Tree haul. Let me see if I can pan the camera. So, because it's a lot of things, I didn't really organize it. I know sometimes I try to do that. Left everything in the bag. You guys are going to hear a little bit of crinkling. To me, it's not worth editing out those three seconds of crinkling while I'm getting to items. I hope you guys appreciate that. It's just, it's more real. You're not seeing a bunch of jump cuts and it's a lot less work for me. I am, I have so much to do this weekend. I am off to Disneyland, sorry, Disney World in like less than a week, five days. I leave Thursday. Today's Saturday. Uh, so I really wanted to get this haul filmed and put everything away and then I have the whole apartment to clean because I just want to come back from vacation and like it be clean and I need to get stuff set up for the cat so my mother-in-law can come and take care of the cat and I'm going to pack this week and everything but the last minute things look out for a Disney vlog I'm going to make it more like is Disney plus friendly I am so anxious about being on a plane you guys have no idea. Super anxious about even fitting like in the ride. So I wish I could find videos like this out there from me. There might be some. I found some like Instagram uh, people that do plus size Disney. I found some blogs. But I actually haven't really looked on YouTube. But anyway, I figured another one won't hurt even if there is some out there. But anyway, so let's get into what I filmed. So the first thing, since it's out of a bag and it's right here. Oh, this was a brand new Dollar Tree, guys, that opened in another city nearby me. It was huge, gorgeous, so organized. I filmed like a, I don't know, one minute clip on my Instagram. I always link it down below if you guys want to see one of the aisles in particular and how organized it was. But this was like in the garden section. And this is basically so you can have a hanging plant. By the time this goes up, you should, guys should get the announcement video. I've been hinting at it, other videos. It wasn't too hard to figure out. But basically, I moved and now I have, I rent a home. So it's basically a house. Like I have a garden, I have a front porch, I have a driveway, I have a yard. Super excited. So I I noticed that there's two hooks in front of my porch. I did want to buy like two like Christmassy plants and hang them up there. But I literally moved in like two weeks before Christmas and it was nuts. So I bought these so I can hang from there and have beautiful spring plants hanging low. So if you guys have any suggestions on where I should get them. I was thinking about just going to Walmart. I know they have a garden section. But I also, I also know that like low and Home Depot does as well. You guys tell me what you think the greatest selection is and for the price and stuff. All right, so this bag in front of me, I think it's mostly Joe's, but I'll show you because he grabbed some things too. He loves this kind of stuff, not just me. He loves like incense and candles and he loves like, he loves when we sit down and watch like binge a TV show together. Right now we're on Psych, which gave on USA Network years ago and I did watch it years ago. Uh, but never episode to episode. Now we are watching all nine seasons together and we will literally just like eat dinner, relax, light some candles and watch hours of psych before bed. So, um, and he likes, like I said, incense too. So this is an aromatherapy 40 piece incense. It says this one is for the third eye chakra and it is a rose. I don't, I'm not super duper into that stuff. I know each chakra represents like a different area of the body. The third eye is like this, right? So whatever, he grabs that probably just likes the smell and then he loves these little things this tapito if i'm saying that right he probably says it better than me um and this is the chicken flavor one and you literally just add water you know heat it up in the microwave i'm not so much for pre-made meals i actually buy the ramen packets and make my own ramen out of them i rather do like homemade stuff but he likes that kind of stuff so it's always good to have on hand because there's days i don't want to cook you know i'll just make myself a sandwich but he's not a big deli meat guy so he has those he also bought two cans of beef or only i thought this was a decent decent price now remember i'm still paying a dollar i'm not sure what's gonna happen once it goes up to a dollar 25 of course i'll still be shopping at dollar tree but everything might not be as valued you know what i mean like because in grocery stores you guys can pick this up you know 97 cents 98 cents at walmart for a dollar 25 at dollar tree no i will not be purchasing it again but i still paid a dollar and since i was already there still worth it so he grabbed two cans of beefaroni. Once I get to my bag, you guys will see I bought spaghetti meatballs for me because that is one thing I do like, like out of a can that I'll heat up and eat. That's about the only thing that stuck around since my childhood. And like a Kraft mac and cheese, like the ones you throw in the microwave. But that's about it. Everything else, I'm not a big fan of like frozen meals and stuff like that. Anyway, he grabbed some work socks. He said they felt, the cushion felt amazing on these. He hasn't used them yet, obviously. So if you guys are curious and want to know, let me know and I can comment back on these videos once he tries it. The, this is a Dollar Tree brand. That's their own brand. It's, a, it's called Most Mossy Oak. So it kind of looks like, can't think of the name of that brand. Am I thinking Don, John Deere? Do they do socks or is that just like appliances? I'm not sure, but I, there's a brand coming to me. You guys might be screaming at me. Comment down below that it like it, that it gives that like essence, but it's obviously the Dollar Tree version, and it literally says extra cushion, 
it's premium comfort moisture wicking work socks crew length and they are extremely cushiony i wish you guys could like tell from camera but there it, this isn't a thin little sock so not bad for a dollar he got one black pair and two gray pairs he does do a lot of heavy lifting for work um so he actually does wear shorts all year round for work because he's usually sweating but he will wear the socks and he you know that way his legs have a little more protection um and when he's not like lifted heavy loading he's in a truck that has heat you know what i mean and then he grabs himself a bunch of stuff from the office supply aisle. Joe is very artistic. He loves to draw and trace and color. Um, he'd rather do that than like, I don't know, than anything. Like he watches Psych with me and he enjoys that. But that's it. Like he's not, he does it more for me. Um, he's not one to sit around and like binge a bunch of TV. Uh, he can't sit still during a movie as ADHD. So at least one time every movie he gets up to do something, use the bathroom, whatever. He's more like pen to paper or like really into music, which I actually say is very characteristic of people with ADHD. They usually artistic people. They love music and art. So he got himself some mechanical pencils. He got himself some ballpoint pens. And he also grabbed the refills for the mechanical pencils. He grabbed this one right here. This is a Dollar Tree brand, the Pro Max. So it's like the perfect fit for these because these are the Pro Max mechanical pencils. And then this one. Oh, this is a Dollar Tree brand as well. Okay, I've never seen this one before. I wonder if it's new. Unison. This one says Graphite Force and it's another lead refill. Uh, I'm just wondering if there's a difference between these and why he got it. This one says 0 0.7 milliliters. Oh, so this one's 0 0.7. So whatever. I guess he just wanted to get himself some different options. And then he also grabbed a utility knife. These always come in handy for little projects around the house and stuff. So he picked that up. He, oh, he ended up grabbing. So he grabbed four socks. He grabbed two of the black and two of the gray. I just noticed one in the bag still. And then he grabbed himself an A1 steak sauce. He honestly loves, I don't make steak. I don't like steak. So I've never cooked him steak. But he actually really loves this on his burgers. So um, that's nice that Dollar Tree has like a name brand steak sauce. Is it probably cheaper to get a bigger one for a few for a few dollars more? Probably, but since he's the only one that's going to eat it, this will probably last him quite a while because I don't use A1 since I don't make steak. Um, then, okay, so this is one of my bags. The, the snack section was popping, guys. The food section was really good. And I know a lot of times if you watch like Dollar Tree do's and don'ts, a lot of people say not to buy food there. But I do think, for especially for a dollar right now, you can get some really good deals. Not everything, obviously, but certain things, yes. And I like buying things in smaller quantities because I will buy a bag like this and this is perfect for me to take to work. That's mostly what I'll use it for. For work, for picnics, road trips, things like that. I don't need a big, massive bag. Uh, so this, and I haven't had the Stacy's pita chips in the forever. I don't know why, because I used to love them. I just, maybe I, just, I don't think I'm seeing them in my grocery store, to be honest with you guys. But I noticed them at Dollar Tree, and this is the cinnamon sugar. It's not in this bag, but I also bought the garlic parm. And this will last me like two or three lunches. So like, I'll bring this on Monday in my lunchbox, eat until my heart's content, fold it back up, and it stays in my lunchbox until it's empty. So it's not like it's all in one sitting, because this technically is like three serving sizes. And I usually do do that. It usually lasts me, like I said, either two or three lunches. And then I grabbed this. I always pick this up there. Best price around. If Dollar Tree, they don't always have it. So when I see it, I grab it. If they don't have it, Aldi's usually has it for like a dollar seventy nine. And these are to make homemade crunch wrap supremes. One of my favorite dinners. I make them all the time, and I've been craving them. I just made them two weeks ago. This is definitely having something in rotation a lot, and it's so easy. And me and Joe love it. So I always pick those up. And you need that as one of the layers to make the crunch and the crunch wrap supreme. I also grabbed this Betty Crocker just because I've never seen this one or tried it. The triple berry. They always have like the blueberry, the chocolate chip, the corn. But this triple, this triple berry sounded amazing. And you just add water or milk. And I don't have a family of four or five, six, whatever. It's literally just me and dough. So something like this is perfect because it would only make, does it say how many cupcakes it would make? Muffins? No, it doesn't really say, but it's not going to make a huge amount because it's not like a box. So this is perfect for me and Joe, because if not, sometimes things just end up going to waste and get thrown out, which I hate. And then 
I check out every aisle, guys, when I go to Dollar Tree. So even like right now, I'm not necessarily looking for birthday stuff. But I was like, you know, I want to see if there's anything new worth picking up. I tell you guys all the time, I have a little bin in my room. Nothing big because I don't have tons of storage. It's like a shoebox size. And if I see anything really cool, I'll throw in there. And I literally label it gifts. And you're going to see I have some stuff to show you guys. And then I have another one that says like birthday. And if they have like really cool candles or banners, I buy it. Uh, so this time they had the happy B-Day balloons. You guys know it. I party. This would cost a fortune and they have it in silver and in gold. So I thought this was wicked cute. It says the B-Day is 25 inches and the happy is 37. So super cute. When day, Joe's birthday is not till November, but I could totally see myself setting this up. And when he gets home, he sees it. I don't know if it lands on a work day or not, but, or if anything, like it could be if I'm going to make a dinner for his mom and it's his mom's birthday. I don't know. I don't have anything particular planned, but when I need it, I'll have it. Because when you go looking for it, when they don't have it, you guys know this. And then I saw a few things in the beauty aisle that interest me. Um, fashion tape, 14 pieces. These are really good for multiple, multiple things. You guys know that to secure shirts, skirts, hemlines. Um, so I grabbed this. It probably is cheaper to get like a big roll, but it's not something I necessarily use all the time. I'm very generally a t-shirt jean kind of girl. Uh, so once in a blue moon, if I dress up, I need it. I actually might pack this for Disney World. I also grabbed these bra convertible clips. I used to use these all the time back in the day because I like it made my bra like just I hate when the straps keep constantly falling. And it also makes it it makes it a racer back. So depending what top you're wearing, I have no idea those those went and I haven't worn them in a long time. <coughs> I figured I would grab it two piece for a dollar. I don't know how super sturdy these are. I figured I'd give them a shot from wearing something, something particular I need it for. And then I also grabbed these reusable nipple covers. Again, depending what I'm wearing, always good to have. So I figured I'd grab those. <coughs> oh, man. Always happens. I haven't filmed it a little bit. And then I pop on camera and boom. Let me take a little sip of this. I don't buy a lot of face masks because I have a huge supply of face masks. I'll throw them in a lot too. And gift baskets or with gifts even like with a gift card or in a birthday card because you can definitely fit this like obviously in a birthday card but i had never seen one that's three steps and it's vitamin c and e and i love vitamin c for my skin it really helps with like texture in the skin and the step one is a cleanser step two is a serum and then step three is the actual mask right yeah it's a sheet mask so i said you know what i'm gonna grab it because i think once they hit a dollar 25 i won't be buying too many more masks from there because it's just cheaper to buy it somewhere else probably in like a bulk package and then i grabbed this specifically to pack for disney so we don't have to bring our electric toothbrushes even though they do come with a travel case they're just a little bulkier and i could even die while i'm up there because i'm not going to carry the charger you know what i mean so this is easier um i mean i would bring the electric ones in the charger if it was like a trip that i don't have to fly for but because i have to fly i have to be very minimal with what i pack so i grab me and joe might even share a suitcase not i'm just sure if i'm gonna make that work yet but we'll see so i grabbed these specifically because they also have the cap so it'll just be more sanitary for packing and it just says three zones for a total mouth clean these are the soft ones they are re these are reach brands so they are name brands and then I always like to have extra toothbrushes because, like I said, if the toothbrush dies, I don't have to wait for it to charge. I don't think that one warns me when it's going to die. I'm not sure. And then Joe does have a cousin that sleeps over sometimes, unplanned. So I always like to just have some extra toothbrushes. These are the ones I prefer, the ones I'm going to show you right now. But like I said, I got this one because specifically because the cap for Disney. But I always prefer buying... Um, bamboo toothbrushes because it's way better for the environment plastic toothbrushes one you're supposed to change these like every three months i know i change my toothbrush head like every few months so that's a lot of plastic adding up into the environment that does not break down very easily so specifically for toothbrushes if i do use like a plastic uh, not a plastic if i do use one that isn't electric i prefer these uh so dollar tree had them for a buck so i picked it up and this one is charcoal infused as well so and you guys if you watch this channel you know i absolutely love charcoal it really helps like whiten your teeth it helps put, it's really good in skincare too I, get, I even have it in my deodorant it just helps pull out impurities and then same thing this one is a eco-friendly charcoal toothbrush this one is not bamboo but it's corn starch handles which break down better for the environment versus a uh a plastic toothbrush and it has the same charcoal bristles which leads to whiter smiles they're softer bristles too and it even says how uh, the charcoal infused bristles combat the effects of common stains like coffee tea wine etc so it leads to a 
whiter smile and it's all about being eco-friendly which i prefer especially with toothbrush because it is something you change quite often all right so i did get some decor pieces while i was there because that spot was popping as well so i grabbed this they had a bunch of different signs of these i grabbed the one specific that says life begins with coffee because i want to put this somewhere on my coffee bar and i loved the font on it and guys this is like not hollow wood this is a solid piece of thick wood this is like heavy so i could see why people use these for diys i've seen so many people use these paint them and do something else with them or they'll put multiple together to make like one big sign just to give you guys some ideas they had other ones like more springtime ones but i want something i could just keep out all year round and that's because it's for the coffee bar that's perfect i didn't even realize she wrapped this which i appreciate this is just a very cute little metal plate i love having these to put oh look you guys can see the mess in my apartment right now <laughs> i like i said i gotta clean i like putting these i like putting candles on these it like reflects the light on the mirror and it just looks so beautiful and classic instead of just having a candle i don't know i always loved that look and then the other three decor pieces i bought these are gonna go somewhere in the kitchen i just thought it was so cute i have a hot cocoa bar set up right now for valentine's day that i keep out all of february i think once that gets taken down i'll replace it with these because right now i don't have a spot for them so because i am going to do a kitchen tour soon i think when i'm done cleaning i'm going to film so if you don't see those in there that's why uh but look at this it says watch me whip so cute and it has this is like a 3d piece that sticks out i'm sure you guys can tell with the whisk and it's like a cute little metal piece and it does have the kickstand so it will be able to just sit on it you don't have to hang on a wall or anything so this one says watch me whip like i said i bought a few different kinds this one says they see me rolling they hate sorry i can't help but sing that and i think this was supposed to be like um watch me whip watch me nay nay is that the song i don't remember but i either way it was super duper cute and this one instead of being a 3d piece that pops out it's actually indented in how cute is that and again i love the font on these i really do and then the last one was this is the only one i was debating on leaving there and i said you know what it's only a dollar i'm gonna get it and it's baker's gonna bake and i think it's supposed to be like haters gonna hate and it has a really cool like 3d effect here with this metal piece for the cupcake super cute i grabbed those three Oh, one more to coffee. So I forgot about this one. This also has a kickstand. And this is, it's a good day to have a good day. And it's a calendar. And you just change out the month, the day, the week, and the date. So I, I don't know if I'm going to put this like on my desk or 100% sure where I'm going to put it yet. But this was super cute for only a dollar. So I grabbed that. And then I grabbed these for me because I love felt tip pens. I have a lot of them. Um, these are the Dollar Tree brands. And they're both fond point, quick drying, bright, vibrant colors, no bleed ink. And I love the colors. So this one is orange and red. And this one is blue and green. So I grabbed those. Let's do another food one. So I grabbed these to have for breakfasts. They looked really good. Five packs for a dollar. Not bad. Nine grams a whole grain of serving per nine whole grams per serving can't even talk and it's breakfast sandwich and it's chocolate i love this is the um, no name brand version of again it's not coming you guys are yelling at me it starts with a b too i keep wanting to say bisquick and i know it's not bisquick is it a b i don't even know but it's like those breakfast biscuits and i love those uh but these are like a sandwich versions with chocolate and i was like oh that sounds good so i scooped that up i think that's a quick easy breakfast for work so I do end up packing my breakfast to go a lot of times. I never give myself enough time in the morning to eat. These, oh, I just shared another haul, crispy corn with tagine. I love crispy corns. This one is crispy corn with salt and vinegar. And I love salt and vinegar chips. I might even pack this like as an airport snack or a snack, you know, just while we're in Disney uh, to have in the hotel room. Oh my God. If you guys saw it, this was a older haul, not super recent. I showed Dunkaroos, but they were like about to expire. So that's probably where they, why they were a two for one deal. Cause they were going to, I ate them already. They were going to expire the end of January. And I want to say I bought them the end of December. So they were only good for like a month, but I was like two for a dollar. I'll eat these before they expire. But this one is chocolate. I have never seen that before. The other ones I bought were like the standard vanilla, but this one does have a date coming up too. So it's April, 2022. So just to be aware that this is going to last a little longer this is two months so i'm surprised they didn't do it as a two-pack but whatever actually what it was selling because there wasn't that many left when i grabbed it 
I also grabbed these little removable hooks. I always buy the big ones. I show you guys in hauls all the time to hang like my wreaths and stuff on the doors or my signs for the doors. Like right now I have the kissing boot sign from Dollar Tree for Valentine's Day. But I, I like the idea of it for my keys. They show it here. I did not do the entryway yet. That's going to be one of the last rooms I show you guys because I have to buy a lot of pieces for it versus the rest of the house where I already had the main pieces of furniture. But I, I do have a mirror I think I'm going to put in the entryway and it is white. So I was thinking I might put these hooks at the bottom and then we can hang our keys right there and it'll be as we come in and out of the apartment, we can just hang it and be done, you know, so the keys will be in a convenient spot. I had seen the other hooks all the time, but I had never seen these hooks. So I thought that was really cool. Do you guys have small things, even if it's like, you know, the little string on an oven mitt or uh, a pot holder or whatever you guys can think of. That's a good idea. Cause they're not as big and bulky and then i grabbed this word search puzzle this was right as i was cashing out just because it's so pretty like i usually get like you know the bigger ones with the standard picture in the front that shows it's a word search this unless i said it you wouldn't know you would think it's just a little notebook but it is word searches and there's even an answer key in the back so this is super cute like even if you want to give it as a gift you know with a set of nice pens or in a gift basket with other things like a little sunday morning basket put some coffee some treats because it's just like so fancy for a dollar i loved it and this is a dollar tree brand it is crown jewels i'm pretty sure that is dollar tree brand and then I also grabbed this little spatula while I was there. I love these when I'm making eggs for one, like eggs just for me. Um, I work at a school. I have a lot of vacations compared to Joe. So there are days I, I make breakfast just for me. Um, and I have, I had one and it lasted me like almost a year. So these will eventually go because there's a metal piece in here. As you can see, it is completely solid right now. But after a million flips, it is eventually you start to notice it like bending so and even like a little bend's fine but then it started getting like floppy and i threw it out so i just bought like the replacement they also sell the little spoons and i like it if it's just for me these are perfect i've also seen uh but first coffee she's a huge um youtuber she says she actually buys these for her kids play kitchens and they're just like a nice little silicone sa spatula spoon they have a few different things and then i grabbed this container it might be for snacks. It might be for office supplies. So, I mean, you can use these for a million things. So, you saw it has the clip things. I removed it. This is good because if I want to do snacks, I can do celery or strawberries or carrots. And then this has the little dip. So, I can put, like, chocolate hummus, ranch dip, anything like that, regular hummus. Or if you wanted to use it for office supplies, you could put, if it would fit, I'd have to test it. Like, pencils and pens over here. And then, like, you know, like, the lead things from or the lead things from joe over here or and over here you can put like elastics binder clips tic tacs tic tacs i'm thinking of the thumb tacks oh my god you know what i mean you could do a bunch of different or you can even put your phone charger in here and your headphones in here like there's a million different things you guys can just that's why sometimes it's worth these little baskets because it'll hold the little things like that and then this like i said i did move and I've been showing you guys tons of baskets because I have tons of things organized. I actually have a pantry in this house, which I am obsessed with. I have a little bathroom closet. So I could not pass up these baskets. They are super duper cute. Look at this like cut design on them. I love them. They had three gray ones. So I literally just picked up three gray ones. Um, cannot wait to start organizing when I come back from my trip. And then, oh, I grabbed this coloring book. I have so many coloring books, but I couldn't help it. It says, I'm fluent in sarcasm. I've seen one where it's like a, and it says sarcastic advanced coloring. I've seen one, one it's a swear book. So obviously I'm not going to tell you what it says. You get the idea. There's swears. It's like an adult coloring book, legit, with swears. But this one's the same concept, just without the swears. Like whatever sprinkles your donuts. You know what I mean? Like you're being sarcastic. Uh, the struggle is real. Who cares anyway? There's like just a bunch of funny ones in here. I came, I saw, I left early. I run on coffee and sarcasm again. So there is, does it say how many pieces? It usually does. No, it doesn't. This, this is like a thinner book. So it's not like, you know, the huge coloring books you can get for a lot more money but for a dollar and i have you know some activities i can do you could even like frame these afterwards because they're super cute i picked that up i couldn't pass that one up and then oh this is the one that where has my canned goods so like i said i got two cans of spaghetti and meatballs ever a day i don't want to cook something quick and easy for me 
used to love those as a child. Mom's like, I can't believe you never outgrew those. I outgrew a lot of things, but not that. I also grabbed this cream of chicken. I've used these before for recipes because it's not something you're not just eating cream of chicken. Like if I was just eating cream of chicken, like, you know, if you're sick or you just had a surgery and you have to eat like liquids, I would probably go with the Campbell's or like a name brand version, obviously. But a lot of times you are mixing this in recipes to make other things. And when it's like that, the Dollar Tree brand is perfectly fine. So I grabbed those and then let's grab the next bag. Oh, I grabbed myself these socks. I, I swear, like 99% of my socks are Dollar Tree. These are Juncter Women's Full Kit full cushion low cut socks um more spandex for retained shape okay interesting but you guys can feel the cushion on these these are like so thick and cozy there is like a thread coming off one of them oh no it just came out maybe it was just stuck on it from something else um but i was like three pairs for a dollar nice black socks and they feel really good i'm gonna uh, definitely buy these so I might just put those right in my luggage for Disney just have fresh new socks um I, I think I'm gonna show you guys definitely consider following me on Instagram um uh, this video might go up after Disney or maybe while I'm in Disney I'm gonna try to still post videos while I'm there some pre-film content but I'll be sharing a bunch of Disney stuff over there um and should I film when I'm packing we're gonna see what I have time for guys I don't want to make any promises but I, I do want to plan on doing like some cute outfits and take some really nice pictures to show you guys what I wore while I was in Disney. But during the day, I am going to think about comfort. It's going to be a lot of walking. I am a plus size woman. Uh, so it is going to be sneakers and leggings. But, you know, in that nighttime when we're going out for dinners and stuff. I d so this is definitely going to come in handy with the sneakers. But for nighttime stuff, I do have a few cute outfits planned. And you guys will check them out over there. So like my go follow me on instagram even if this comes out after disney the pictures will already be up and you guys can see it this was a perfect example i think i bought a few of these is this it these two of things i would throw in my gift basket bin so these are super cute socks for a basketball lover in your life or a football lover in your life i have a friend who's obsessed with both so i'm probably gonna give these both to him i mean you can give it as nothing gifts they're only a dollar but if you want to hold on to them like i said throw them in a little basket and then come their birthday come christmas whatever you have socks for them i got him a pair of socks that said game over with a bunch of controllers because he's wicked into video games i bought those socks like in the summer like june or july and i saved them and gave them for christmas with a GameStop gift card and it was like the perfect gift and he loved it so I picked these up while I was at it the basketball and the football I showed in another haul there was like one with a fish and a fishing pole and it said gone fishing and I got it for my brother there was another said uh I uh Mr. Fix it and I got it for my brother because he's my mechanic there's just a bunch of cute things out there this I grabbed specifically for my case kit at school if you guys know I work at a school I work in the special education department in an ASD classroom for autism spectrum disorder. And this stuff is perfect for them. It, it says sing along sticker and activity book. Not sure what makes singing. Okay, in the back, it says scan to listen to some fun music as you complete your stick to learning work. I could do that for her. I would just have to play the music lower. And it says the sticker and activity book promotes fine motor skills, character categorization skills. And you get the help of some adorable characters and fun sing-along songs. And she loves to sing. So she will love this. And it's literally just like a little activity sticker book. I've bought in her things like this before. And you can just categorize letters, colors. This is perfect if you have a young child like to do little activities with them. And it's literally only a dollar. These are the sticker pages. Like how cute is that? And then they can count. You know, depend I can make her count because she's definitely older. Um, This is more just for colors. But I could definitely make her count them and just super duper cute, only a dollar. So it is like a very thin little book, but it's just a cute little activity book. So I grabbed her that. And then like I said, that food section was popping. So I ended up picking up one of these nine inch graham cracker pie crust. Like what day was it? Was it? We did a late Christmas with Joe's parents. It was like the week after New Year's. I happened to have one of these in my pantry. And I said, oh my God, I don't want to go empty handed. Literally whipped together a Oreo pudding put in a container of Cool Whip, whipped it again, popped it in here, crushed some Oreos on top, boom, I had dessert done in like five minutes. These are perfect to have in a quick little pantry and you can make a quick little like pudding dessert. So I said, I've never seen that at Dollar Tree's before, so I grabbed that one. And then these Habaro, um, once they're $1.25, it'll kind of be like the same price as everywhere as far as I, from what I see. I know Five Below sells them for $1.25 each. But then if you buy five, it's five dollars. So they kind of do a deal if you buy more. Uh, right now they were still a dollar, so I grabbed them. This is the twin snakes. 
one side sweet one side sour my boyfriend loves these grab that for him these are the watermelon i grabbed these for me i also grabbed the peach which i'm sure i'll find in a second i also grabbed these these are days like i save these for emergencies if there's a day i'm like running wicked wicked behind wicked late in the morning these are perfect for me to grab as for a quick lunch most of the time i do have my lunch prep the night before but not always because if it's like a if it's something like a tuna sandwich i'll put the tuna in a container and i bring the bread separately i don't like soggy sandwiches but if it's just like a ham sandwich i'll make it morning of uh, but let's say this, I wake up super late. I don't have time to make it. That was my plan. I can just grab one of these. I do like these. Um, it is basically like a tuna salad in a can. It's already made. It's not mayo, I don't think, because mayo... Oh, it does say mayo dressing. I say it's definitely like a different taste and consistency than like regular mayo but it's like already made salad in a tuna salad in a can versus you have to open a can and make the tuna salad and it comes with crackers to put it on and i love these and this one is specifically ranch tuna salad you guys can't find this in name brand like bumblebee i've grabbed it before dollar tree had this brand um it is not a dollar tree brand it's just a different brand that i've never seen so i figured i'd give that a shot but i've never seen the flavored ones i think bumblebee just does standard like standard tuna and standard chicken. So I definitely decided to try the ranch. And then I grabbed one of these pictures. This was like in the spring section. They had it in their spring colors. It looked like the spring colors this year were like a light green, a light blue, a light orange, a light pink, and gray. And I figured gray is more neutral. And I want to start having water in the fridge at all times. I have not bought water bottles in years, guys. Years. What's in a blue moon? I'll buy a pack in the summer. Like if I'm having something outdoor just because it's way easier. But every day for my house, I have a pitcher that I do. Um, so I needed a new pitcher. So that's why I picked this up. And I just keep it in the fridge with cold water to have at all times. I drink water 99% of the time when I'm home. Once in a blue moon. If I, the only time I really get soda is I treat myself while I'm out. I will get soda. I forgot I bought two of these. Um, since, you know, like at a restaurant or takeout or whatever. And I'm like, okay, this will be my treat. I'll get myself a soda. And then Joe actually grabbed me these little Lindor. This is what I mean. Like for a dollar, this isn't worth it. He was there and there was a thought and I love him and I thank him and I will eat them for sure. But like you only get two for a dollar. Where for like three and change, you can get a whole bag. So for that, it's like definitely worth buying the bigger bag. But if you're making someone like a little gift basket and you just want to put like a little treat, this is actually really cute. So that's a, de a decent idea. And then I grabbed these Trident Splash. You get 15 pieces. It says something here. Yeah. 15 pieces equals over one pack. Okay. So I guess one pack is usually nine because that's what it says there. But this one has 15. But it just sounded so good. Strawberry with lime. And I've never really noticed in a bag like this. Have you guys have? It's always been like a plastic box. But maybe this is like it's still plastic but maybe it's less plastic than the box i don't mind that because it does have the zip seal so when you're done you can like seal it up again um because it's probably a little less plastic than the plastic box and then i grabbed one of these because i do do sandwiches a lot for work so i was like wow instead of me doing a sandwich bag which if you guys know i haven't used real sandwich bags in a while i use the reusable kind but this just gives me another option because it's a container instead of a bag so i was like you know what i'm gonna grab this because sometimes I just, like, forget to wash the bag. Um, you know. So it's always good to have another option. Again, this is something you can use to store stuff. You can, if you are, like, a crafter, you can put stickers in here. Or, like, little pieces of leftover craft paper. Or whatever. But I was like, you know what? Well, I'm going to grab that for my sandwiches. So I grabbed that. And I'm sure you can put other things in there. As long as it's not, like, you know, too thick. I can put carrots in there if I really wanted. Or hummus or strawberries. And then I also, oh, so I knew there was another one. So I showed you guys the felt tip pens. I got green, blue, yellow, or, no, red, orange. But they also had this really pretty like lilac and pink. So I grabbed this one. And then I grabbed two of these Salt Range Himalayan Pink Salt Lip Balms. If you guys watch this channel, you know I am obsessed with lip balms. I have one at all times, like one in my car, one in my purse, one in my backpack, one in my pocket. Um, 
and two for dolls awesome even when this goes up to a dollar 25 it's still worth it not all their chopsticks will be worth it because some just come one um uh, but for this name brand this is a really really good name brand this was made with himalayan pink salt and it has cherry and shea butter shea butter is really good really moisturizing this is not a dollar tree brand so they don't have it all the time but it has popped up multiple times i have bought these before um and the, they also have the matching bat salt sometimes. So it's, again, a really cute gift idea and a little gift basket. But since it is going to go up to $1.25 soon, I bought two packets. They're also going to go up to $1.25 by April, but my store is having it. Oh, I grabbed these in that snack section, trolleys, specifically because it's the sour bursting crawler. So it looks like there's some kind of sour juice in them. And I was like, mm, that sounds delicious. And then the last thing I got was these markers because it says they are line markers. So you can see like one is three lines straight. One is like a zigzag. One is uh, like a wave. One, I don't know, it says it makes like a circle. I was just curious to check it out. So I got them. And uh, yeah, it doesn't go into too much detail. You can see literally back here it says nothing. Uh, it just says six pack line markers. So I was like, ah, I'll put it with my art supply, see how I like it. But if you guys saw another video, one ended up being a complete dud. But that's a totally different brand. So we'll try it out. Um, oh, I grabbed this magnet. It was so cute. Did I buy just one? I thought I bought two. I don't know. But the magnet section was super cute. They had a huge selection. And just says cooking with love. And it's like a chef hat. I'm like, I'm going to put this on my fridge. That is adorable. And then I grabbed one of these little travel dressing containers for when I do make salads for lunches for work, which I do sometimes. I do have little containers that I usually put them in. Um, but I might hold on to those because those, I mean, they've never opened, but I'm always just scared about them opening. Uh, this seems like a little sturdier. And those are good too, just for like little things, like little hummus. Hummus is thick. I don't have to worry about it pouring out. You know, or where things that are like a little more liquidy, this might be a safer choice. So I grabbed that. And then, oh yes, like I said, it was the cinnamon sugar and then the garlic and herb. So I grabbed both of those. That might be good with hummus too, with a little hummus pack on the side. I grab these whenever I see them. They don't have them all the time. I think I have two bags in my pantry right now, but I figured whatever, one more won't hurt. It's good till September of 2022. So there's plenty of time on these. And I love these, even in salads, add a little crunch or with certain soups. So good. They're just little tortilla strips. You can even throw this in like in a wrap, depending what kind of wrap you're making, like a nice like chicken wrap with that. Like, you know, like a chicken Caesar wrap, but instead of croutons, that, that sounds really good. And then I bought some replacement Valentine's Day things. I just showed on my Instagram today. Maybe I'll make it a highlight bubble. So you, once you, this is up, you guys can still see it. It'll be as a highlight in my IG. Because on my stories, it's going to expire in 24 hours. But I showed you guys my hot cocoa bar and where each thing is from. And one of the things I just realized, I literally plugged in my ring light and didn't turn it on. I don't think that made that big of a difference though it was it, there is a lot of natural light now it's daylight i usually film later on when joe's at work but it's a saturday and he's out getting a haircut to be cute for disney uh but the, i did notice the sun just went down an octave so let me turn that on you guys see you can see the ring light on my glasses so i take it off when i film for you guys but anyway i showed you guys like what i filled my hot cocoa bar with and it was mostly these items here so i bought these to refill as those run low and it is getting a little on the lower side in certain things so I grabbed another pack of lollipops. These are different though. The other ones I grabbed are just like solid pink and solid purple in a heart shape. These are the carnival heart shaped ones. So if you guys can see, it's like a swirl of pink, red, and white. I actually find these cuter, but this only comes eight. I think that one came 20, but I have been going through the lollipops. My dad came to visit. He's a huge lollipop person. He loves having his things in his mouth at all times. He's a smoker. So I think that's a, a quality of a smoker. My aunt came to see the apartment. She did the same thing. She was an ex-smoker. So... But she grabbed some for the road even. And Joe loves lollipops. So I thought, you know, I'll replace him with this because that's getting kind of low. And then I showed you guys in the Instagram a bunch of, like, different hearts. The one I... Okay, and I had even said how each color represents a different, like, flavor, I guess. So these are the pink ones. And these are specifically cookie and cream. So you can see they're white with little chocolate bits. This is the red ones, and these are double crisp. So you guys can see it even shows like one almost like being bit too, and you can see like all the little crispy pieces. These red, solid red, because you can probably see this is red with like silver polka dots. This is solid red and solid, solid silver. And this one is just rich chocolatey candy, so it's just like a smooth chocolate basically. 
And then even with Valentine's Day over, I will keep it out the whole month of February. I might even keep it out for March and say screw it. I like I'm not gonna go rechange everything to green because it's St. Pat St. Patty's Day. You know? I'm not Irish. <laughs> and then this one is the fudgy heart, so it has like a creamy center. Although my brother was born St. Patrick's Day. But to me, that's more my brother's birthday. And then okay, there's still three more bags behind me. Well, yeah. I knew this was going to be a longer video. If you're still here, comment down below and be like, hey, girl, I'm still here and I'm loving this Dollar Tree haul. Uh, oh, see, this was the peach ones that I showed you guys, the watermelon version. But they're not like, well, they are rings. I mean, technically not rings. They're circles, but I, the center is not there. I mean, it is there. Usually the center is like popped out. So it's like more like a donut. Kind of like that. I get more candy. <laughs> All right. So let me, uh, this is more cans. So, oh, this was for me. I couldn't believe this was a dollar. I used to work at a grocery store, and I believe these were for like $2.99, $3.99. These are Espresso Monster. This one is specifically vanilla cream. These are very high in caffeine because it's an energy drink with coffee. They taste really good. I didn't have them super often, but if it was like wicked busy at work, mostly like the Christmas rush, you know, Thanksgiving rush, because those days would be, those weekends, I used to work the whole weekend, like Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and I would be exhausted. Um, so once in a blue moon, I would treat myself to one of these, but I couldn't, and I haven't had one in years. I haven't worked at the grocery store in over two years, but I was like, Ooh, for a buck, I'm going to get it. So I think one day when I'm doing some major organizing or major unpacking or whatever, when I get to those other little spare rooms, there's tons of stuff in them. I was like, that's not a bad idea. I also grabbed, was it just two? Okay. I grabbed two cans of Rotel diced tomatoes and green chilies. Even in the store, these aren't a dollar anymore. I want to say they're like a dollar nineteen, a dollar twenty-nine. And there's a recipe me and Joe love. There's a few recipes where I use these. Um, there's a taco spaghetti I make that Joe loves that uses these. There's some dips I make that use these. Um I make a lot of like, I don't want to say Mexican dishes because they're not authentic, Mexican style dishes. Joe is Mexican and he loves that flavor. But I am, like I said, not authentic. I'm out here, I'm not out here making tortillas and all that shit. So I make, like I said, no, most Mexican people aren't going to make taco spaghetti. But I like, the, he likes the flavor and then I try to do different things with it instead of it just always being tacos. So I've made taco spaghetti, I've made taco stuffed shells, I've made taco lasagna, taco meatloaf. So if any of that interests you guys, let me know. I might start filming some cook with me videos since I have a big huge kitchen now and that's something I can share with you guys I grabbed just some like what I figure pantry staples because I think this would be a dollar at the store anyway especially for the Hunt's name brand would it be cheap if I went to Walmart and got the great value version yeah but I was already there this is always good to have in the pantry name brand only a dollar and it was just a tomato sauce and then this I grab, I don't use Alfredo that often. So a lot of times when I buy the jar, half of it goes to waste. Because Joe does not like Alfredo. So if there's ever days where there's enough leftovers for just one person, so it'll be perfect for him. He'll have the leftovers the next day. And I'll just cook up some pasta, throw some Alfredo sauce, piece of garlic bread, and that'd be my dinner. Because I can't make anything Alfredo for the two of us because he doesn't like it. So I'll open like the jar, only use half or a quarter. And then the other half stays in the fridge. And by the time I go to eat it again, it's moldy. So having a smaller serving like this is actually better for me. It's I don't think it's worth the dollar. You can If you're going to make a lot, you need the jar. You might as well. But for me, this is perfect. So I grabbed one. That'll probably be enough for like two meals honestly guys and then i grabbed just because i love loaded baked potato soup i've had like the panera ver bread version and a few different versions this one's the campbell's kitchen classic and it was only a dollar so i figured why not and it's good till december 2023 so it still has almost a year um and we actually the winter storm already passed i actually went there the day before the storm day or two and i was like oh we'll be by to buy some staples just in case um obviously i didn't end up using it because it was still in the bag but it might snow again i live in massachusetts so i'll have it if it does and then let's see what i got in here more treats this is trolley's sour gummy creations you can make over 200 flavor combinations and it shows like you can make like planets, UFOs, like it's like very galaxy themed. So you can build with these pieces and eat different flavor combos. I just thought that was really cool. Um, I love these like that. Just like I showed you guys, Joe bought me the little truffle version. The stick versions, I'm pretty sure are like a dollar everywhere. So that's a decent price. So I picked up one of those as a little treat. And then, oh, this, I thought this was a good price because 
I remember buying these at Walmart, and I think they were a dollar anyway. And this is the all pink strawberry gelatin starburst. I remember being so excited when I first saw these at Walmart. So I grabbed another one. I don't see those all the time. And I was kind of surprised they were at Dollar Tree. So I grabbed it. And then I grabbed four books, and then it's just a few decor pieces, and we'll be done. One of them, this is what I meant by standard word search. This is usually what you see. So the other one, let me see, I would like to show you again, but there's stuff on top of it. My coffee table is a mess. I have so much to put away when I'm done filming this. Like, this is the cuter version. Like, this would be, like I said, really good for gifting. This is the standard. But I will say, you probably get a lot more puzzles out of this one, because this one is thicker. I mean, not by a huge amount, though. Um, I... This is the ones I usually get. But what I thought was so cool about this one, again, I think this would be a good activity for being in the snow and in case the power did went out because it was a bad storm. We had like 50 mile winds. It was 22 inches of snow. It was nuts. Thank God we had power though. But um, this one, instead of being binded on the side, it's binded on the top. So I thought that was really cool because then you can just flip over. The puzzle is completely on one page here and then the words are up here on the top. This is... um. Oh, how funny. I always thought these weren't Dollar Tree brand because it says like $5.95. Like it does. Like I've seen little ones like this at the grocery store and you really will pay $5.95. I remember I used to be, when I worked at the grocery store, I used to be the girl that did the magazines every week. I would take out the new old ones, put in the new ones. Um, and they would get credit for what didn't sell and used to have to put like all the things that were $5.99 in one pile, all things that were $5.95 in another pile and mark it. It's a complicated process. Actually, it's not that complicated, but it sounds complicated. Um, so at a grocery store, if you saw this, you would be paying that price. But at Dollar Tree, you're paying a dollar. So I always thought these were things that didn't sell at stores. I went to Dollar Tree. But no, this is a Dollar Tree brand. It literally has anything Greenbrier International is from Dollar Tree. That's where, like, their main, like, headquarter warehouse is. So they're trying to trick you out with that price. But still, I mean, for a dollar, you get a bunch of puzzles. And like I said, this is perfect for things like that, like, if the power went out. Or even... I'm just on a cold winter night. I'm sick of the TV. I want to do something different. Pop that out. I've done some word searches. I was showing you guys on Instagram. Even in the summer, I was just chilling at home. I mean, I'm not going to go out 24-7 either. And I was doing, like, cute little word search puzzles, even while the TV was on in the background. Sometimes you just need something more stimulating, you know? And then I grabbed, I think these are, yeah, three different books that sounded really good when I read the synopsis. So this one is Defending Taylor. And it's by Miranda Camilli. And it says it's the best-selling author of Catching Jordan. And it's a fun, sexy, su suck-me-in read. Um, and it says, is he playing for love or playing her? So I grabbed that one. I mean, for only a buck, this is one of the best things you're going to dial to. They don't always have a decent book selection. But once in a blue moon, they do. So definitely check it out. I want to see if they had the regular price. They don't. It probably is under this Dollar Tree sticker. But I have no nails. So I have a hard time peeling this off but you know this was probably at least ten dollars anywhere else and it is i guess part of a oh yeah right there catching jordan i guess i don't think it's a series like you don't have to necessarily read all of them but this is just like a little series for the author one is catching jordan stealing parker things i can't forget racing savannah breathe annie breathe and jesse's girl so if i really like the way this is written i can definitely look up the other books um i always i have a million books on my amazon wish list that's usually what i get for christmas and my birthday if you guys saw what i got for christmas get um video books were definitely in them because i'm cheap i don't want to pay more than a dollar when i can get it for a dollar dollar tree even like barnes and nobles i went to the barnes and noble sale and i was like oh my god even half price it's so expensive because it's like i read it once and then i'm done it sits on a bookshelf you know the next one i got this is a hardcover book with a jacket so you know those are definitely the more expensive ones this was 16.99 and it's called lucky strikes and it sounded really good it just says with her mama recently dead and her pa out of the picture since her birth big sister amelia is suddenly in charge of her younger brother and sister and the family gas station harley belvin's local king and empire of standard oil is in hot pursuit to clinch his foil his fuel monopoly to keep him at bay and her family out of foster care amelia must come up with a father and fast so when a hobo rolls out on a passing truck, Amelia grabs opportunity by its beard. So it looks like she has to get married very quickly um, just so she can, like, have a stable family for her kids, that, uh, for her kids, for her brother and sister that she inherited kind of thing. I don't know necessarily why you have to be married, but I'll read it. I'm curious. Um, and then she, she literally grabs a stranger and, like, marries him or has a relationship with him or something. So that definitely sounded really good. And then this one, 
again is a hardcover with a jacket this one was regularly $18.99 and it says love heather a novel and this is an award-winning author um and it just says what you see isn't always what you get and i know it's like a high school based one that might seem a little kitty to some people but because i am like 30 but i love books like this as long as it's well written because there's definitely some like i read one that i got from dollar tree i ended up hating i wish i remembered the names i would tell you guys about it and it was like a young adult novel but it just read is so immature to me so it all depends on like how the author writes it so i'm definitely curious to check out these books and then last but not least is just a few glass items and then we are done we are hitting 50 minutes let's get this video under an hour guys so i have plenty of glassware legit you i will show you guys the cabinet when i do the kitchen tour but i couldn't pass this one up how beautiful is this the old me would grab like four or six so at least the new me only grabbed the one and it even has the dimples do you guys see that where you would literally put your fingers so it makes it so easy to grab and i love the textured look on this this is absolutely gorgeous you could even use this as a vase for flowers because it's tall enough but with this extra benefit this is going to be my go-to drinking glass now um so like, like i said you can't use it for a vase because it is so beautiful but i think it's kind of a waste because you do have like this beautiful little imprint here and it's on all four sides so you can use it any way you don't have to like worry about flipping the cup and then the last few things are decor items like i said the entryway is the last thing i'm gonna do oh i bought a correction pen this is for work mostly from the stuff i do over there she just threw it in the back. But like I said, I am going to do my entryway. And I do want to buy like a console table, like an entryway table, and really decorate it like you see on Instagram and Pinterest and stuff. Um, so I want that to be beautifully decorated. My mom's even going to give me some Disney snow globes that she has in a collection. She said she would give me some so I could decorate with it. And this I thought was so cute for only a dollar. Joe's cousin went with us that day and she was even like, wow, I can't believe that's only a dollar. And it is tea light holders. But I don't know if you guys can tell. I wish I had a flat surface to put it on. They this is like the real height of them. They are sep they are one is taller than the other and then the other. So how beautiful is this to cluster together? Uh I could put a real tea light. I'm sure I will. I could also do battery operated ones if I just want to like hit a little switch because they do have the ones that are on timers on amazon you can't buy just the battery ones from dollar tree but you have to physically walk over and click it on if you buy the ones from dollar tree there's usually a little um not dollar tree i'm sorry amazon there is usually um just a little button you can press it usually comes a little remote control or you can even set it on a timer some of those even change lights like the colors change the lights change colors is what i'm trying to say oh my god so this i'm going to have to wrap up in the paper again and really store this well until I get that entryway table, which, like I said, will be after my trip. I've been having to save money for that, so I can't buy the furniture yet for the entryway. But that is everything. I'm looking around me. That is everything. I have a million things to put away now, but at least now I don't have a bunch of Dollar Tree bags chilling in my living room, and I have a bunch of cleaning to do now. Um, I already made me and Joe breakfast. I posted that on Instagram. Definitely consider following me on Instagram. I show more, show more of my day-to-day -day life. Me and Joe actually already cleaned the bathroom and majority of the kitchen is done because I kind of cleaned after breakfast, but I still have like a few little things I need to do in the kitchen. And then my focus is on this living room and then the bedroom. Today's Saturday. That's always my cleaning day, but just like extra today because I'm leaving for vacation. <sighs> And I got a pack. But that is everything for this video. I love Dollar Tree. I do tons of Dollar Tree hauls. If you like that kind of stuff, definitely consider subscribing. If you want to see decorating videos, organizing videos, tours of the house, <laughs> please consider subscribing. Like I said, I might start branching out. Maybe do some cook with me's. Oh my God. I have two huge hauls I want to film for you guys. Or three. Three. I have a Torrid Old Navy and a um, Target. That I'll probably film when I come back from Disney. Uh, just because I want to make sure I have open memory on my phone. So I can take videos in Disney and stuff. Uh, I probably am going to pack some and bring it with me. But when I come back and I'm unpacking it. I will put it aside do a haul for you guys. <laughs> I love fashion. That's something I've been wanting to do for a while on this channel. But with the constant moving I've never gotten to finally sit down and do it. So I'm going to have a whole room I think devoted to that so you guys will see that in the future any of this sounds good to you definitely consider subscribing hit the notification bell so you're notified when i upload uh definitely comment down below do you guys see these amazing things at dollar tree do you guys love dollar tree like me if you do like dollar tree what is something you usually gravitate towards there i literally go down every aisle but i know for some people it's certain things i know the party section is always a really popular section so it's good for gift bags and tissue paper 
<laughs> cards best price on cards but everybody's different let me know what you like shopping for at dollar tree always like conversing with you down below and if you like the video give the video a thumbs up it really helps with the youtube algorithm made it under an hour guys but that is it i got a crazy day ahead of me be safe